Anda kembali di Prime Words dan masih bersama kami Duta Besar Rusia untuk Indonesia, Her Excellency Lyudmila Vorobieva. So, Madam Ambassador, let's continue our discussion. So, let's talk about the economy now. As I mentioned before, that the world is facing a very great challenge from uh, the conflict. Maybe you can tell us how's the Russia is going on now economically? Uh, well, the world is facing uh, hard times, not because of the military operation, but because of the reaction of the West and uh, uh, this uh, hysterical, I would say, uh, wave of sanctions uh, imposed on Russia. Uh, of course, uh, of course, I'm not saying that you know we can look easily at that. Of course not. It 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 it, it will hurt our economy, and we uh, can see, uh, especially the uh, first uh, weeks uh, after the statements by the Western countries that. Uh, financial sanctions were imposed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We had ruble has uh, weakened a lot. Uh, the inflation has gone higher. But uh, in the uh, in last week, actually, uh, ruble recovered a lot of its. Uh, um, it, it actually became stronger. Um, and uh, our government has is developing. Uh, uh, programs and measures to support Russian businesses and support Russian people in this situation. Uh, well, if we talk about sanctions, of course, there are many aspects to the sanctions. First of all, uh, they are absolutely legitimate. Uh, it's, you know, especially uh, uh, when you look at the... Uh, when you, uh, the, the West has uh, frozen the, our assets of our central bank, Actually, they behave like bandits or, or pirates because the, wait, they call it freezing, but actually it's stealing. Because it's, uh, you know, uh, you can compare it like, uh, I see your car and I want to take it. And uh, I come to you and I say, you are bad. That's why I'm taking your car. Okay. Why? Where, where, what is the legal basis of that? Okay, I adopt the law saying that because you are bad, I have the right to take it, and I take it. So it's uh, if you explain it in this term, it, it's just it's just stealing, uh, and uh, but not only stealing from the gov from from Russia's government, you know, but stealing from Russian business people, uh, freezing their assets, uh, um, taking their homes, uh, their their uh, yachts. Uh, Etc. Etc. So it, it's just stealing. It's just you know, it's like a pirate uh, in in the uh, old days, uh, just robbing a, a ship. You can you can compare it to that. Uh, on the other side, it's not the first time that we've been under sanctions. Uh, uh, we've been under sanctions since 2014, and uh, in a sense, uh, it opens new opportunities for our economy. I can give you a very simple example. Uh, before 2014, we were very dependent on uh, food import from abroad. After 2014, we uh, invested a lot in developing our own agriculture. And now we're absolutely independent uh, and our food products are cheaper and better uh, in quality than many of the foreign, foreign ones. So. Uh, I hope that this uh, uh, sanctions uh, will also uh, open some opportunities for our own uh, development, not not to be dependent on the foreign imports, uh, to uh, develop our own industries. Uh, uh, another thing is that, uh, of course, we need to look at new markets. Uh, and um, Asia and ASEAN is one of the regions uh, where we can have new opportunities for uh, economic uh, cooperation. Uh, I'm quite sure that after uh, a period of, uh, uh, of, of adjustment, uh, our economy will uh, survive and, and will develop. Okay. 
So on the other hand, we know that Russia has a withdrawal to the energy supply to European countries. And lately, uh, these countries has been banned uh, and exports from Russia and imports from Russia, such as natural gas, we know, which cause energy crisis in those countries. So how do you well, that, I would say that is shooting in your own leg, <laughs> in your own leg. You know, applying sanctions and then uh, being uh, disappointed that the, <laughs> the prices uh, go up. Uh, you know, the recent developments were that uh, our uh, president declared that uh, now they will have to pay for our gas in rubles, but that's in response for freezing our central bank assets. That's the response. Uh, uh, to their sanctions. Um, uh, it's, it's a fact that now uh, Europe cannot survive without uh, gas uh, from Russia. How they will deal with this situation, uh, we will uh, see. We, we are committed to our contracts, uh, but uh, you know when they say that uh, it's not according to the contract to pay in uh, rubles, but it's not according to the contract to freeze our, <laughs> our assets, our central bank assets. So who is talking about contracts? Uh, if we look at, you know, uh, if, if uh, we look at what is happening in the global economy, of course, this uh, situation affects uh, the economy, but it's not because of the military operation. Yeah, it's because of the sanctions. Okay, this is very interesting. I will continue our discussion after the break. Dan jangan kemana-mana karena Fire Modes akan kembali usai jeda berikut ini. Tetaplah bersama kami. On the other hand, we know that the United States and and its allies insist to remove or exclude Russia from the G20 countries. So, how do you think about that? I think it's a very illogical and I would say cowardly position.